back to the show, everyone. In the last episode, we have done some extensive work on trying to consolidate some of the uh, job situations going on here because of, for example, here there were uh, in Dextrix, Alice Clan, Bad Nico, and District 13, there were a lot of abandoned buildings due to not enough workers. So we destroyed a bunch of those buildings. And now, most of these buildings are getting their workers back. This one is not Frank's Fish Stick Factory, however, I think this one was abandoned before all these changes, so I'm going to just hold on for a minute. Now, the other thing I can do, and I don't want to do it until we have some more money in our pockets, but um, one thing I want to do is set up some metro lines, because that will significantly help everyone moving around the city. Um, but I'm not going to do that quite yet because I want to get, like I said, I want to have some more money in my pocket. And even though we have 92 grand, remember that 60,000 of that or so is because of a loan. In fact, let's check our loan status. So yeah, 55,000 is left on the payment. Now, I could just pay it off now, but I want to keep that money on hand just in case. It doesn't cost us, um, it doesn't cost any extra to pay off the loan at once, but we still do pay the interest on it. So um, it it also, like, there's literally no reason to pay off a loan early unless you want to take it again, from what I've gathered, or if you just don't want it hanging over your head as a weekly expense. But right now we can absorb the weekly expense because it's only $253, and we're making over 8000 now, so... We're doing okay. Yeah, getting rid of all those crematoriums in the last episode cut our health care expenses in half. Um, so that was a very good call on my part to get those things out of there. What is the budget? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Okay, so let's take a look at the other problems because Dragon Row has some issues and I'm not sure what it is. Abandoned because there was no electricity. What? <laughs> all then. That would be a bit of a problem. Uh, are all these people exiting the district? No, they're coming this way. That's kind of strange. Boop. And boop. And I guess that was good enough. Yep, there they go. Now they're all getting their electricity back. All right, so... Um, yeah. So I'm thinking about making some metro lines so everyone... Oh, crap, I never started my timer. Uh, so everyone can move around the city a lot better. Let's see. Oh, here we go, metro line. So... It would not make sense to make a metro line in real life when you only have 31,000 people in a city, but the game scale is a little wonky. Um... Mm. What's going on with you guys? What's wrong with you? Not operating. Not enough goods to sell. Okay. Zone more industrial area to produce goods. No goods to sell. I see. Multiple problems. Building is abandoned because there were no customers. And building is abandoned because there were no goods. Because there were no customers. Okay. So, that's weird. Why would... That is a cargo one, right? Oh my god, I put the wrong fucking type of train station there. God damn it. I thought it looked funky, like... It looked exactly like my other train stations, and I'm like... That shouldn't happen. Oh man, it's gonna take me a minute to fix. Yeah, there are two types of train stations. A cargo train station and a, uh passenger train station. I mean, a, having a passenger train station was there There was useful for um, getting people to and from work, but we can do buses and metro for that. I was actually trying to do that. What do you mean height too high? Don't be a doof. Come on. There we, there we go. Eh. Alright, so... Da -da -da -da. Do kablam, but spam, and then let's see, 
let's go like yeah oh I, I remember what I'm trying to do here I need to circle it around like that there we go and same here we need to circle it around and have one go that way there we go looks a little ugly but it'll get the job done Son of a bitch. Uh, come on. There we go. Oh, that looks weird. Okay, but there we go. All right, so now that... Wait. It says train station. Did I have the correct train station there in the first place? And that whole thing was pointless? Or did I just build the wrong one again? Did I build the wrong fucking train station again? God damn it. What the fuck is wrong with me? Ah. <sighs> Now, there are times, there are times when sometimes I regret doing this YouTube thing because before I did the YouTube thing, no one realized how much of a fucking idiot I can be. Cargo train terminal. There. Jesus. But now, now that I do this on YouTube, Everyone sees that I can be a total fucking moron. You thought I was a professional because of all the strategy guides I write and everything, huh? Well, you were wrong, weren't you? All right, Ugh. and then, all right, so I need to circle it around like so. And circle this one around like so. And then, this way and go this way right right okay and then go this way and go this way come on baby there we go all right now we've got it I don't even know if all those lines are necessary whoa holy crap I heard the chimes, I didn't realize they were all here. See, I needed that cargo terminal over here. Badly. Now nah, we're talking. Yeah, baby. That was a fairly expensive series of mistakes, but whatever. And the high-rise districts are doing pretty good over here. That's good. All right. And now there's a very high demand for indu for industry. That's actually good. I want a high demand. Um, let's check our popul or our yeah our employment numbers here. Okay, now people employed fourteen thousand seven hundred. Jobs available fourteen thousand nine hundred. So there's only about two hundred. Well, 300 now jobs available, which is good. I was trying to keep a closer balance than I had. That is excellent. And with all these buildings that are now being upgraded to the maximum level, things are looking up. This is great. Shut up, Chirpy. This is excellent, man. All right. And then District 13 looks like all of these are maxed out. So let's start expanding and working slowly. Amazing how that works. So that's a rookie mistake right there, guys. Like, the whole thing with SimCity and cities, skylines, is that you tend to screw up when you build too fast for yourself. And that is what I was doing. I was building way too fast. I was playing fast and loose with the rules, like a rogue officer of the law. So I'm going to slap down a metro station. Now that we have, we have 92,000. We're making 12 grand a week and 53,000 is the payment left, which means we really have about 40,000 left. And how much do these stations cost me? 15,000, man. 
Well, all right, I'm gonna do a little planning in my head here. So if we put one Metro Station District 13, one in the center of these three districts, one in Dragon Row, then where else is there high density? I guess one in Wolveria. Then I basically have a straight line of Metro here for 60,000, which would leave us about 40,000. Yeah, okay, that's a good idea. Okay, so that's what we're doing. So we're going to grab ourselves a metro station and go one here, one here. And don't worry guys, if you want a metro station in your district, I will be happy to accommodate you once we're a little bit more organized. I'll try to get more metro stations going. And then one in Dragon Row. There's a lot of abandoned buildings here, man. A lot of abandoned buildings. Are you abandoned? Oh, because there was no electricity, so you're still suffering from that. Okay. Alright. I can live with that. Now, in this game, if I remember right, the metro lines are kind of weird. Because you don't actually need to make a circular path. You did need to make a circular path in Sim City, but I don't think you need to here. Line, 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 line. And then I think I can just go all the way back here. Yeah, because what happens is when the train reaches the end of the line, it'll stop and then it'll reverse and come back this way. Um, so yeah, there we go. Okay, so now the metro is hooked up. So it's not very much for now, but it connects Wolfaria and Dragon's Row to District 13 and these three industrial districts. So these will be where we focus our industrial expansion as we need to slowly. And I, I, again, I stress slowly because it's these buildings, especially the Dragon Row buildings, because with so many abandoned ones, this is where everyone's gonna move to. So if I just build a bunch of residential zones right now, all that's gonna happen is we're gonna have a bunch of empty ones ar around the city. So like here, you can see we still need 4,000 people to reach the next milestone, but, um, and we don't have 4,000 available homes here, but my point is that like, we do have some available here, and I don't wanna start expanding residential until these start stabilizing and upgrading themselves because they are upgrading themselves do I have any commercial zones in this area I don't I made dragon's row on this side pure and uh, residential right okay okay whoa what the heck happened here this isn't Philadelphia guys try to reorganize yourselves please all right, um, okay, God, was that joke tasteless? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Passenger service last week, four. Well, that's not very many, but at least it's a start. Okay, so, okay, oh, let's check our numbers again. Numbers, numbers, everything is numbers. 15,600 people employed, 15,700 jobs available, with 9% unemployment. Oh, that means, son of a bitch, that means people employed is not, oh, god damn it, I wish these numbers were clearer. I don't need people employed and jobs available so much as I need number of people in the workforce and open jobs. Like... I know that's kind of a subtle difference, but I need number of people in the workforce and number of open jobs, along with, I guess, people employed. That's what I really need, because I don't know, because, you know, we have a population of 35,000, and 11% are children, 15% are seniors. Do teens work? Are teens included in the workforce? I don't know. Like, is it just young adults and adults who are in the workforce? I don't know. These are the numbers I absolutely need. That's one thing I wish this game had. 
because I don't know how big my actual workforce is, other than having the mysterious 9% unemployment number. So, all right, so what we're gonna do, I guess, I guess we need them, so I'm gonna start increasing the size of my industrial zones again. And uh, as you can see, I'm kind of centralizing everything around the metro station here. And the dirt roads are service. Whoa. That's a lot of peeps. Oh, they're heading to the bus stop. Oh, holy crap. That is a lot of people at the bus stop. Holy shit. Wow. Those poor peeps are going to take a while to get home. That's why I need to get another metro station going. I wish I knew where these guys were going. Oh, here we go. Resides at the summit entrance, which is here. Okay. Guys, just take the frickin' metro station. Why are you waiting for the bus? Resides at the prospect. Okay. Wait, wait, going to the company. Where is the company? Ah. So some of you peeps... Ah, are going there. Haha, -ha. now we have some information. So a lot of the peeps waiting at this incredibly crowded bus stop... ...are going this way. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna destroy this park. And I have enough cash. We're gonna slap down another metro station. And now we're going to draw a metro line to here. And now we'll make one line From here to here and back. There we go. That should si significantly relieve pressure on this bus stop. I mean, it's great that so many people are using public transportation, but look at this. Is that a tiger running down the street? Wait a minute. I, I can't zoom in any closer, but I swear to God there was a tiger that was just running down the street. Uh, can't click on it. But anyway. <clears throat> um, it's a four-legged something. So, uh, yeah. So now that we have the metro stations hooked up a little bit more, hopefully it takes some pressure off of these poor buses. I'm hoping. I'll have to keep my eye on that bus stop. Alright, so... Alright, so these buildings are starting to come up, so I can get rid of these power lines and replace them with the zones. That's what I was hoping I could do in the first place. Let's see how the electricity looks here. Okay, we're good. We are good. Um, I wish the, uh, I wish you could just have the zone overwrite the electricity, or if buildings could. There, there was one SimCity game, it may have been SimCity 4, where your zoned buildings had the power to overrule your power lines, for that reason. I kind of wish they would bring that back in this game, too. Alright, going to Mega Shopping Center. Yeah, so a lot of the people who are hanging out at this bus stop... That's cool. That means they do even transfer between um, multiple series of, uh, or multiple um, transportation services. So if I put a bus stop at each metro line, that will actually significantly help out traffic flow. That is cool. All right. Are you guys coming out of here yet? Passenger service last week eight. Not many, but we just start out. Oh, look at all these people. A few of them are going down in there. That's awesome, man. I love that every little person is simulated in this game. It makes me super happy. <laughs> and Yoshi is listening to me and 
is, uh, no, dude, you're fine. I just wish you were mic'd up. Um, crossroads and traffic. Okay, so there's a lot of problems here. Can I see where you guys are coming from? I don't... Owner medical clinic responding to call at the home stuff store. Wait, you're responding there? Why is this clinic not going over there? That's weird. Why is the why is the ambulance traveling all the way from frickin' down here to get up here? It's ridiculous. Abandoned because there was no electricity. Uh garbage has piled up. Garbage trucks can't get here. Okay. Um, well, I will take care of that by building you guys your own damn landfill area. Um, and there's a dead person over here. That's, that's lovely. Let's see, these are offices. I don't want to put the landfill next to the offices. Why is the traffic so fucking horrible here, man? I have to watch these guys a little carefully. Oh, hey, look. Bunch of bikers. It's Sons of Anarchy. Going to new commercial center. Resides at the Rosewood. Oh, that's why. Okay, well, we have plenty of money, so let's build another metro line, because these seem to be working out so well. So we're going to slap down a metro line here, and go here, and now I actually will make a circular path, like that, so now we can make a line that goes here, whoa, line that goes here, to here, to here, and back. There we go. So now a lot of the city is connected through metro lines. Okay. I think that will start to reverse our fortunes. But that will do it for today. And we will continue trying to reverse our fortunes uh, in the next one. Yeah. But I think we're on our way. We're doing pretty good now. Um, oh, and I forgot to mention this two episodes ago, but if there was something I forgot when I was uh, following your orders, Alderman, please let me know in the comments, and I will update your districts during my next session. So thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you tomorrow for another episode.